Welcome to our lectern line. Sometimes we end up with an infinite sum that looks very similar to one that we can easily find the convergence or divergence of and we can find the sum of. You can see here that this can be written to be smaller than the infinite sum for n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n power. That's because the denominator here is larger than the denominator here. So for every denominator in the series, the denominator here will be larger than the denominator there, which means the fraction will be smaller in each case, which means the left side is indeed smaller than the right side. Now, does that converge? Well, we can use, uh, we can make that look like a geometric series. And let's go ahead and try to do that. So this can be written as the infinite sum of n equals 1 to infinity of the quantity 1 over 3 raised to the n power. That's exactly the same thing because 1 to the n power, no matter what n becomes, is always equal to 1. Which means we can then factor out a 1 third. So this can then be written as 1 third, or I should still say the sum of n equals 1 to infinity of 1 third times 1 over 3 to the n minus 1 power and now we have a geometric series because now we can say that the ratio is equal to 1 third and the constant a is also equal to 1 third and then we can find the sum of that geometric series so the sum is equal to a divided by 1 minus r which is one-third divided by one minus a third, which is one-third divided by two-thirds, which is equal to one-half. So we know that this series converges to one-half, which means this converges to one-half. And since we know that the left side is less than the series here, and since this is equal to one-half, we know that this must be equal to one-half. So the sum of n equals one to infinity of 1 divided by 3 to the n plus 5 must be less than 1 half so therefore we know that it converges so, so maybe I'll just go therefore the series converges and we know that the sum must be less than 1 half so using a comparison test to something you're familiar with can quite often help you solve one you're not familiar with and that's how it's done